Welcome back guys, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. I hope you had a lovely weekend and I hope you're ready for another week. Things it's easing down a little bit with all the lockdowns slowly all around so we can see some kind of a life popping out and hopefully soon here in UK bars will start reopening and uh, hospitality will get slowly back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. I miss the bar. I miss a lot my weekends uh, with, you know, lovely customers and uh, shaking, steering cocktails for them. But we'll do what's supposed to do to make these things better. However, today, as you can see, there's no intro to the channel. I decide for a moment to take it out. Uh, I don't know if it's, uh, you know, necessary to have it or no. That's a different story and I'm thinking of little be making the channel more not like a vlogging but in instead of throwing recipes to you all the time I'm, which is gonna be the point anyway that's the point of whole channel I think we're gonna do a little bit different from now on there will be recipes but of course we'll talk about the recipes we'll have a little chat about the spirits and uh, I'm working on a new video now with a, a little bit advanced making ingredients at home. So next video is gonna be dedicated on syrups. Uh, I'm thinking at the moment it will be probably five or six syrups, which you can do at home in a small amount. So you can use it for your cocktails, coffees, or even just drink it with, uh, you know, I mean, mix it with a tonic or soda or lemonade, whatever. So. Uh, saying that, today we're doing a cocktail which is called Americano, but uh, we're gonna bring a little bit of story back to the 60s when the cocktail was first created in Italy and it's called Milano Turino. Now, why it's Milano Turino? So let's explain this. First of all, the cocktail, the original, original Milano Turino, it's uh, just two ingredients, cocktail, and uh, you may say, whoa, how can you call this cocktail? Well, it, it's a cocktail, okay? Uh, everything starts with two, three ingredients back in the days and uh, slowly involved to the cocktail industry and the mixology and all the fancy stuff which we know these days. But in the beginning, and especially around the prohibition period, people didn't have that much choice to do whatever they can do because everything was pretty much put away and they didn't have that much ingredients. So. Uh, they did what they have in their hands and they did some fantastic things. Uh, Milano Turino is probably the king of the aperitivo cocktails. Aperitivo, as you know, it's a cocktail which is served before meal to help your appetite and kind of a prepare your body ready for the meal which is coming. So the cocktail Milano Turino, it's basically created with two ingredients which is uh, the bitter aperitivo and the sweet vermouth and why it's called Milano Turino well because it's made with Campari and Campari of course it's made in Milano uh, that's where it's come the first letter and then Turino is the most famous region in Italy which is produced uh, one of the best vermouths in the world so we have Campari today from Milano and we have vermouth di Torino so any other vermouth it's fine you know what I mean it don't get me wrong I love the vermouth di Torino and it's one of the oldest and original so that's why I'm using it but you can easily use uh, Martini Rosso or any other sweet vermouth in fact even it's created in the beginning with a bitter aperitivo and uh, rosso vermouth, uh, sweet vermouth or red vermouth, you can easily use a white sweet vermouth, nothing wrong with that. So the original cocktail let's make it where I'm actually chatting to you. All you need to do, it's made directly in the glass, so that's the Milano Torino and all you need is pretty much just some ice. At the moment I am using, where is my tongs, just let me find them, there you go. So you don't you don't have to do that but i'm using uh, like a big clear ice 
uh, you don't have to do that you can just fill up your glass with uh, any ice you have at home and just make it directly in the glass that's how it's made so you have 40 ml of aperitivo bitter which in this case it's campari bitter so only 40 ml and then here we go and then we have the sweet vermouth so i'm using uh, vermouth di torino rosso which is the sweet vermouth as i mentioned you can use any vermouth could be martini rosso could be lilet could be anything as far it's a sweet vermouth okay now uh, you can garnish or let's just give them a little stir beautiful you can garnish your cocktail with a slice of lemon or a slice of orange and I will do with orange because I know that aperitivo bitters and sweet vermouths they go really well with the flavor of the orange and this is it all you need to do is drop the orange inside make it give a little squeeze if you want just few drops of the orange and just drop it inside and this is it guys just a little stir let's get us some nice cocktail napkin and this is it as simple as that oh, actually have, let me try it oh fantastic now Milano Torino was created in the 60s okay but then in 20th century the Americans came okay everybody start visiting Italy and because the bitterness of the herbal aperitivos it was a little bit too much for them they asked for a splash of soda and because uh, so many of them start ordering this Milan Torino cocktail and they ask for a splash of soda slowly the Americano was born okay so now we have the Milan Torino and then just to let me open this we keep it in the Italian so I'm using San Pellegrino you don't have to you can use any soda this is mineral sparkling water but basically a splash so if you think about the cocktail it's pretty much equal parts so you have 40 ml of bitter aperitivo 40 ml of sweet vermouth 40 ml of soda what's the soda gonna do it's gonna dilute the cocktail a little bit and it's gonna make it more airy and more settled to drink let's just try Oh, yes, so the dilute, so the bitterness is going down and it's giving a little bit more air to the cocktail. Now, if you want this cocktail to be even more diluted and if you want to lower kind of the strength of the vermouths and the bitter aperitivo and we want to introduce a little bit more, push the sweetness and lower down the bitterness, you can use a high bowl glass and basically you have more space to add more soda but pretty much this is it uh, Milano Torino was created then it came the Americano another fun fact uh, about the Americano is that it was one of the first cocktails ordered by James Bond in Casino Royale yes I mean I know we all kind of relate James Bond to the martini cocktail and the Vesper martini but that was one of the first cocktails order in Casino Royale and then slowly obviously the Vespa Martini took over however the most important and most fascinating fact for this cocktail is how it's involved from Milano Torino which is still classic cocktail then it came to Americano when you add the soda which is still classic cocktail and then these two created the most famous cocktail which you all know or probably heard of the Negroni in the 20th century instead of the soda they replaced the soda with gin 
and that's how the Negroni was created. Equal parts of sweet vermouth, bitter aperitivo and dry gin. So if you think about it, this is one way to show you how cocktails evolved and how history is repeating or adding something to something already created and it's getting it even better and better and better. So if you think about it, back in the 60s, Milano, Torino, then Americans pop in, in Italy, start with the Americano and then it came the Negroni. And from this point, there's so many versions and riffs and variations of the Negroni. And we know that anybody can try and even if you know, you know about my channel, uh, if you watch, I, I did white Negroni, I did cherry Negroni, so you can easily find them in the playlist with the cocktails which I have or on the cards which is gonna pop out on the screen as well and have a look at the difference which you can make and how you can play with the recipes when you know something of the basic and something of the classics. So I think this is it for today guys. I hope you enjoy this video and of course as always if you're new to the channel consider to subscribe hit the like button give it a little like and leave me a comment let me know have you ever been in italy in milano or in torino did you ever try classics make there like a milano torino or americano or did you experience any kind of a good uh, riffs of the negroni or of the americano just tell me I mean, I'm pretty sure some of you have some story to tell. Until then, I love you and leave you. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video when we're going to make some lovely syrups. So stay tuned and for now, I'm off to enjoy this Milano Torino or Americano. I love it and I'm going to go and enjoy it. See you later. Bye.